Good day everyone. So welcome again sa ating math classroom with your teacher, Teacher Dan. For today's video, pag-aaralan natin ay tungkol sa surface area of a hexagonal prism. So again, surface area, that is a total area around your uh, solid figure. Okay? So today we're going to find the hexagonal prism. Okay? The uh, surface area of hexagonal prism. Okay, so looking at the unfolded uh, part ng ating uh, hexagonal prism, meron tayong top and bottom with, syempre, with your hexagonal uh, shape ng ating base at ng ating top, bottom and top. So that is regular. So it means the same length ng ating uh, Uh, hexagonal prism. Okay, so simulan natin sa paghahanap ng area ng ating uh, uh, base and then the bottom and the top. Okay, so ang gagamitin natin dyan ay ang ating formula ng ating triangle. Kasi kung titignan natin, hahanapin natin yung area nito. So this is a triangle no? from the center to this one. So, that is a triangle. So, titinan natin dito, simula dyan triangle. So, makakabuka dyan ng anim na triangle. No? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 triangle. So, the same triangle. So, hanapin lang natin ang area ng isang triangle and then multiplying it by 6, we can find the total area or the area of this hexagon. Okay? So, simulan natin. So, ating area ng triangle is base times the height divided by 2. So, ang ating base dito, it's 4. Okay? So, this is your base. So, magiging 4 times ang ating height. Yung thing dito, ang height natin ay 2. So, 4 times 2, that is 8. No? 8 and then divided by 2, the answer is Four. So, ang ating uh, area ng itong triangle na to, it's 4. Okay? So, that is the area of one of the triangle. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 triangle. Multiplying that by 6, it means ang ating area ng ating hexagon is 24 inches square. So, this is... 24 inches square and this one also is 24 inches square okay so malinaw no let's have the area naman ng ating rectangle no so in a hexagonal prism we have six rectangle okay rectangular faces one two three four five six Okay, so this is a regular. It means the same length ang ating mga rectangle. So, the same way, hahanapin muna natin ang isa sa mga rectangle and multiplying that to 6 to find all the area ng ating rectangle. So, ang formula ng rectangle, syempre, napakadali. Area of rectangle, rectangle is length times width. So, ang lating length dito ay 8. Okay, times our width is 4. So, ito ay 4, ito ay 8. So, 8 times 4, that is 32. So, ang area nito ay 32 inches square. So, this is 32. This one also is 32, 32, 32, another 32, and another 32. So, isabihin 32 times 6 to find the area ng lahat ng ating rectangle. Okay. So, 6 times 2, that is 12. Carry 1. 6 times 3, 18 plus 1, that is 19. So, we have the total area ng ating mga rectangle is 192. So, we have 192 and we have also 24 inches squared. This is also inches squared. 
So, para ito sa rectangle, ito naman ay para sa ating hexagon. So, surface area na tayo. Surface area. So, we have the the two hexagon natin. So, we have 24 times 2 which is equal to 48 plus ang ating surface area ng ating mga rectangle which is 192. Okay, so we have 10 carry 1 and then we have 14 carry 1 and then 2. So ang ating answer dito is 240 inches square. That is our surface area na ating hexagonal prism. Okay? Next, let's have another example. So this is example number one. Let's have another example. The same formula, we're going to find the area of our top and bottom, the hexagonal hexagon, the top and the bottom. So the same, we're going to find the so this is a triangle, assuming this is a triangle, so we have six triangles. We find one of the triangles, so it is the formula of a triangle, it's base times height divided by 2. Ang base natin dito, it's 6 times 3 divided by 2. 6 times 3, that is 18 divided by 2, that is 9. So, ang ating area ng isang triangle is 9 times 6. So, we have 6. So, it means 54. So, ang ating area nitong ating hexagon is 54 and another 54. Next, we're going to find the area of our rectangle here. So this is 6, the 6, ito naman ay 10. So formula of a rectangle is length times width. We have the length of 10 times 6, it means that is 60. So this is 60, 60, 60, 60, another 60, and another 60. So we have 660 times 6. That is 360. So surface area again. So we have the two hexagonal part. So it means surface area is equal to 54 plus 54 plus our 360. We have 8. And then we have 16. Carry 1. 468. Surface area of our rectangle, uh, of our hexagonal prism here is 468 meter square. So that is how we find the surface area of a hexagon, finding the total area of our hexagon. Thank you for listening.